In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to crop a PDF in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC, specifically focusing on how you can remove or adjust margins on all pages. If you've ever struggled with PDFs that have too much white space or awkward margins, this tutorial will help streamline your documents, making them cleaner and more professional. Let's start by opening your PDF file in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Once your document is open, head over to the top left corner and click on the edit button. This action will open up a range of options geared towards modifying your document. The next step is quite simple yet crucial. Look for the modify page section. Under this section you will find the crop page tool. Click on it to activate the cropping function. Now that you have selected the crop tool, it's time to define the areas of your page that you actually want to keep visible. Move your cursor over to the page you wish to crop. Click and drag a rectangle around the section you want to preserve. Make sure this rectangle does not encompass any unwanted areas or excessive margins as this will be the visible part after cropping. After you've drawn your rectangle, double click inside this crop box. This action will prompt a dialog box called set page boxes to appear. In this dialog you'll notice an option labelled page range. You'll need to select all here. By doing so you ensure that the cropping adjustment you just made is applied to every page in the document, maintaining consistency throughout your PDF. The final step in this process is to simply click OK. This will apply the changes and your document will reflect the new cleaner layout with adjusted margins. Reviewing your document, you should now see that all the previously excessive margins have been removed giving it a more streamlined appearance. There you have it, a straightforward method to crop your PDFs and adjust their margins using Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. This technique not only enhances the aesthetics of your documents but can also make a significant difference in presentations or when sharing PDFs digitally. These steps can help both professionals and students present their work more effectively, eliminating unnecessary distractions from their important content. It's always good practice to save a backup of your original document before making such changes, just in case you want to revert to the original version. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to receive more tips and guides like these. Until next time, happy editing!